Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody, and this is going to be my next video. I'm Joe Boric for the Flyers Nitty Gritty team as we are here to seek and destroy and make that run to the cup and bring that cup back to Philadelphia. And this is going to be my quick key factors video in order to do that. And of course, primarily in order to win this series against Montreal. The biggest thing is we can't take them lightly. Lance Green wrote a great article about that on our site. Please check it out if you haven't already. You cannot take these Canadians lightly. We beat them this year two games to one in the season series, but all those games were by one goal we won. The two games were by one goal in overtime both games, and the game we lost was 4-1 to one in a game that Alex Lyon started and played well. We just got shellacked that game, and they outplayed us as the only game they outplayed us. The other games were great battles, and this series has tended to be great battles in the playoffs, so it's definitely going to be fun to watch because this series has tended to have a good amount of great battle. Now, when we look at the Flyers, it's very impressive for this team because as our own Jamie Bascal says, he believes the lines for today will be, as I bring up the tweet, G, Coots, Jake, Law, Hayes, TK, Fairby, Grant, Knack, JVR, Thompson, Pitlick, then Provy, Niskanen, of course, on the top D line, Sanheim, Myers staying together, and then Hagen, Braun to go with the more physicality. Of Montreal, I think it's the right decision to put Hag in because they present a bigger lineup with Jeff Petrie, Shea Weber, Ben Sherratt, and the list goes on. You're going to want a more physical checker in there. And just like Jamie said in his article, or not in his article, in his tweet, Ghost may get a shot later in the series, it sounded like yesterday, and Jake said in his interview, you can also watch that. Anybody that has NHL TV, you can go on and watch the interviews, the whole interviews of any team, anything when you just click on the game and it's in the after stuff. So you can watch all that just for people that don't know. And he's healthy and ready to go. That's what Jake said. So that's great to see. We have much deeper lines than Montreal. Last game, they rolled with Paul Byron, Deneau, and Lykanen. Lykanen's looked good in the playoffs for the Canadians, but he's a guy that's a good second-round pick, a guy that has offensive skill, can fly like the wind, but hasn't fully reached where they want him to be yet. So he has, for them, he's third in assist tied with two with Shea Weber. After the first round, he's looking pretty good. So Deneau, Deneau's a guy that's a playoff-type player. He's great at face-offs. you got to watch him. Paul Byron's a guy that's also a playoff-type player that had a great first round with three goal or three goals, three assists, excuse me. So uh, he's a guy that just knows how to get the puck to other guys on his team. And Ben Sherratt is more of a playoff style defenseman. But the, the problem with them is they try to space out their lines. That's why they move these guys around because they know they're not that deep. They have Brendan Gallagher, definitely a playoff style player. Nick Suzuki, watch out for him. Jesper Kocktaniemi, very good player there. And Duran is a good player when healthy. But they're not as deep as the Flyers. That's why they're trying to spread the lines and mix and match guys. If Byron starts to struggle a bit since he's not the same player he used to be, he's having a heck of a playoff, and you start to see Lykanen show some of his like offness a bit because he's a good second-round pick. He just hasn't been as consistent as they hoped on offense where he was consistent as hell in that first round. Uh, I think the Flyers are going to be pretty sitting pretty pretty in this series because Defense is where we especially astoundly beat them, but even in offense, we beat them down lines because that that line that we have of Grant Fairby and Knack is great at forechecking, great at defense. They'll be going up against Kakaniemi, Armia, and Duran potentially if that's a line, or if not, you probably have Tatar or somebody like that on that line or Byron. So either way, they'll be able to D those guys up, in my opinion. And I think we're be able to have a good series against them line for line and defense for defense because once you go beyond Sherratt and Weber, Petrie and Kulak's a pretty solid line. Their third defensive line is pretty bad in my opinion. Victor Mete is a pretty solid defenseman. Um, Xavier Quillette's more of a seventh defenseman that's starting for Montreal. So that goes to show how much better we have Hag, we have Ghost to go to, Zamua even at this point. 
I would say is better than a seventh defenseman. So even our third option is better, in my opinion, than Quillette. So our defense is definitely deeper. And I believe that's going to really help this team. We have so much depth, and it showed. It, it showed astoundingly so far in this playoffs because our first top lines, they haven't even done a heck of a lot yet. And that's actually, some people say that's bad to see. I think it's a great thing to see because it means everything's not clicking for yet and we're still doing everything right. We're still money and we're still winning because Nack's one of the best four checkers on the team, if not the best as far as I'm concerned, and also one of the best in the league. I'm ready to throw that out there in terms of four checking. And he just knows how to get into the other team's head and play good aggressive defense and get on in on the four check. Lauch is another player. Now Gray has a great 200 foot game. He has three goals. I mean, he's looking very good. Joel Fairby, who got subbed in, looked very, very good. Raffle in his one game looked very good in the playoffs. Hopefully he's able to come back at a certain point. Travis Sanheim, Philippe Myers continue to do their thing as one of the best young stud lines in the NHL on defense. And then Nate Thompson's the perfect player. Just love what Chuck, Chuck Fletcher's done with this team. He brought in Grant, who has some experience with the Ducks, but also was having his best season and then has been hitting the ground running since coming here. Great move by him. Thompson, playoff experience, a guy that has a winning pedigree, has won all the time. Great move by him. Bringing in Braun, who's had a winning pedigree. I understand it's been up and down year for him, but he had a very good finish and looked very good. And as far as I'm concerned, had a good all-around year for us, or at least a solid all-around year for us, and that's a guy with a winning pedigree. Obviously, Niski. Niski's a winning pedigree. Everything we did from the offseason throughout instilled great leadership in the room to the already good leadership we had and brought in more veteran presence to the already great youngsters we had, and that's what has really helped this team, along with the depth, along with the great veteran coaching staff of A.V., with Yo and Tarion, and then keeping Lappy because he had the relationships with the team. I mean, this team just did it all right, and they put it together. And I think our depth is that's all these are the key factors. I mean, as I said, like our depth plus putting it together, the coaching staff, and having all those veterans that just know how to push the buttons at the right time, when to tell the defense to do what. Tarion's a whiz at that. I mean, th these are all the key factors. And then Obviously, to top it off, the final key factor is the goaltending matchup. We got Carey Price versus Carter Hart, who's obviously who's the only guy to have the stats similar to Hart at his age. Carey Price. They're both goalies that came right into the league and were phenomenal, were astounding as soon as they came into the league. And now they're going up against each other in the first round of what's the round of 16 of the playoffs, not a qualifier. So it is fantastic to see this matchup, and we always match up against the Canadians pretty well in the playoffs. It's always a fun series, but I think this year, this team has so much depth. We have matched the Canadians, just like Lance said, you can never take a team lightly. You can't take them lightly, but because I don't think this team's going to do that, I think we match up well against them line for line-wise and size-wise, especially as you go deeper in their third and fourth line, and especially their third D pairing, but even I think only one D pairing on them matches up solid against us, and that's Weber and Sherratt, whether they run them. Last game, they ran them more as the two pairing or the one pair. But uh, either way, I believe we match up very well. The keys are Carter Hart versus Price matchup. The great coaching we continue to have. All the additions we made, like I said, are the keys to this because it just brought in the great veteran presence and pedigree and winning pedigree and leadership. I mean, this team is going places. I have a picture over here with uh, Richards, it says, uh, we want the cup in Philadelphia, and uh, that's exactly what we want when I met Richie years ago, and we still want it now, we're here to seek and destroy anytime, anywhere, let's bring that cup back to Philadelphia, and it's going to start by getting a series win against those Montreal Canadiens, let's go Flyers, have a great and pleasant day, I'm Joe Borer for the Flyers Nitty Gritty team, peace out everyone.